there are times in life when we need an exchange. We all need to change or exchange something or someone. What is most important is who we exchange with. My exchange. Hi, I'm Dr. Jackie Hadnot, and welcome to The Exchange. Today, I want to talk with you about a subject that has been resonating in my spirit. Someday is today. Someday is today. We often say, someday I'm going to start that business. Someday I'm going to get married. Someday I'm going to have children. Someday I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. And in another episode, we talked about time. And we talked about how important time is to our someday. And I used it in, relation to, in relationship to a whole other subject. But today I want to talk with you about time and someday is today. We think about time in terms of, I've got plenty of it. No, I don't. Oh, time, you know, it, it's, it's not going to run out for me. I've got this year and I've got that year. I've got all year to plan this. But someday is today. So many of us have gifts and talents locked inside of us that we never tap into. We get comfortable in one little spot and we stay there all of our lives, never tapping into the fullness of who we are, never tapping into the fullness of what we can accomplish. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 29 and 11, for I know the thoughts and plans I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts to give you a hope in the future, to give you an expected end. Now, if my someday is today, then let me walk out my destiny now. If my hope in the future is in an expected end that God has for me, let me look at myself and say, I can walk this out. Let me look at myself and say, I can do what God has called me to do. Let me look at myself and say, how can I be a better me knowing that I got these gifts and talents locked inside of me? Know that there's a book ready inside of me, ready to be birthed out, knowing that there is something that I can accomplish to make this world a better place because my someday is today. What if you die tomorrow with all of these gifts and talents locked inside of you? What if you were, uh, you went to a bed of affliction and that book that you wanted to write, you couldn't even speak it or your hands couldn't move to use a pen or a computer or even a typewriter? What if you looked at your body and said, what have I done to waste my time? Years ago, I lost a brother that I, I loved dearly. And before he passed away, I had a dream that he was sitting in a chair and he held his hand in his head. And in the dream, he said, I can't believe I wasted my life. I can't believe I wasted all this time. I can't believe it. And I woke up from the dream and I called my aunt and I said, I had a dream. And I told her about the dream and she said, yeah, he's, he's having some, some problems right now because He's been diagnosed with stage four prostate cancer. And I thought, wow. And that was the dream. And he said, yeah. She said, he's, you know, looking at his life and saying, look what I wasted. Look what I did. Look how, look how I didn't accomplish things. And at a very young age, he wasn't even 60 and he passed away from prostate cancer. But take that same scenario and look at your life and say, well, I'm 20, I'm 30, I'm 40, I'm 50, I'm 60, I'm 70, I'm 80, whatever. And you look at your life and say, I wanted to write a book, but I didn't. I wanted to start a business, but I didn't. I knew that I had goals and dreams, but I didn't even pursue them. And why? Out of fear. Why? Out of doubt. Why? Out of, I don't believe in myself out of insecurity, out of inferiority. I work a job 60 years and now I'm retiring from this job and what do I have to show for it? Yeah, you got a retirement check, but what do you have to show for those 60 years? They're gonna give you a watch and a goodbye party and you're gonna go home and sit up and watch Jerry Springer. Someday is today. 
Today is the day that you look at your life and say, I can do great things. I am empowered to do great things. Your someday is today, not tomorrow, not last week, not last year, but your someday is today, right now, to look at your life and say, I am purposed to do great things. My life is filled with glorious purpose. My life is filled with joy and my life is filled with peace and my life is filled with creativity. I never thought in a million years that I would be a soap. I, I was self, a self-taught soap maker. I studied, I went to, I did, took classes when I could online, but I was self-taught in the beginning how to make soap following directions, listening to God, believing God. And one day God said, I was holding a bar of soap in my hand and he said, I want to bless. He said, I'm going to bless what's in your hands. And I'm holding a bar of soap and going, you're going to bless soap? Because my mind could not wrap itself around the fact that God wanted to bless the creativity inside of me to create soap that would lead me to create more and more and more and more. And what started in the basement of my home making soap and then lotions and then everything else became a full time bath and body and home essentials product business, thriving business, money, a business making money to do what I used to do for free and give away because I enjoyed it. So how much more could your gift, your talent, your ability prepare you for a financial security simply because you believed in yourself enough to do it? I believed in myself enough to launch out, move out of my, the security of my basement where I had to pay no rent to move into a building where I had to pay rent and utilities. But I believe God. He said, I want to bless you. He's saying to us, I know the thoughts and plans I think towards you. He's saying, I want to give you a hope in the future. He's saying, I want to give you an expected end. He's saying, I want your today to be today. Your someday to be today. Your someday to be right now. Your someday to move by in spheres and realms and territories. Your today is your today, your tomorrow is today, your someday is today. The things that you have been called to do are great things and it's not beyond God's ability to bless it. He will bless it financially. He will give you provision. He'll give you buildings. He'll give you witty ideas. He'll give you people to put in place to do what you're called to do, but you cannot let time run out on you and you take all that knowledge, all that wisdom, all that creativity, and you take it to the grave because your someday is today. He knows the thoughts and plans that he has for you. He has a expected end for you. He has a joy. He has a peace. He will, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, shall keep your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. Now, see right now, the Bible tells in Hebrews, he said, now faith, not talking about your yesterday faith, your 1977 faith. He's talking about now faith. Do you have enough now faith to walk this thing out? Can you look at yourself and say, I can do this for the kingdom of God. Can you do, you look at this and say, I can leave a legacy for my kids and my grandkids and my grandkids, 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 and great, great, great grandkids. Can you look at yourself and see the legacy that you could leave somebody not having to be on them on GoFundMe having to bag up money to help bury you, but your legacy says, I've already prepared the way for that because I have lived my life fulfilling my legacy. I have lived my life preparing for that day because we're all going to leave here, let's face it. We're all going to leave, but how are we going to leave? Are we going to leave with a legacy behind us that our family can carry on? Or are we going to leave a legacy of love? Uh, my grandfather was an entrepreneur all his life and all my life. My dad was an entrepreneur. So all I knew were entrepreneurs in my family. All I knew was the fact that my grandfather, my father, my uncles, even, they were all entrepreneurs. And so naturally, by, by, by way of, of legacy, there you go, by way of legacy, I became an entrepreneur. Even in college, in account, taking my accounting classes, my business and finance classes, I knew that one day I could take those abilities, that education, those skills, and I could take that and navigate that into becoming a successful entrepreneur. But God was preparing me along the way by, to put me in school to be able to 
go into the marketplace and be successful and then to put me back in school and in seminary school so that I could get my degrees in theology and leadership and education, et cetera, et cetera. So now I can take all of these skills and this knowledge and I can bring it to the marketplace for the kingdom of God. I could bring it to the marketplace and I could advance the kingdom of God through my knowledge, through my abilities, through my skills, and I can leave a legacy, not just for my family, but in the people that I'm mentoring to become successful entrepreneurs, in the classes that I'm teaching to be successful entrepreneurs. What are you doing with your gifts and your talents? to help someone else leave a legacy. Money is fine, but knowledge is power. Money is great, but knowledge is power. Money, money moves things, but knowledge is power. So how in the world can we miss out on the fullness of God by allowing these gifts and talents to sit up on the shelf, sit up in the church every Sunday, feeding on the word every Sunday, being fat as a killing hog and never giving out that word to anybody, having all this knowledge locked inside of our bellies that we don't do anything about it. All the things that you've lived through, uh, you've lived through sickness, disease, molestation, abuse, all of the things. Look at all the people that lived through slavery and now they can pass those stories on to our generations to understand. Look at all of that that's locked inside of us that we can use for the kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. We need to take some things by force that the enemy has tried to steal from our generations. Our young people don't even have a lot of history because we're not passing it on. They don't have a lot of legacy because we're not passing it on. We don't want to leave a legacy of poverty of disease, of sickness, of negativity, of, of hurts and pains and abuse. I don't want my, my grandson to know poverty. I, don't want my, I didn't want my daughter to know it. I wanted her to know how to be a, a, a successful woman. So now she's launching a business. She's been in corporate America for the last 15, 20 years, but now she's still doing that. But she's launching out into the deep. And she, she texted me the other day and she gave me the name of the business that she's starting. And I texted her back and I love the name she chose. And I love the tagline that she, you know, chose for the business because now she's launching out into something even deeper. Because let's face it, jobs are not going to always be there. Jobs are not going to be there when we really need them. They will let us down. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We're in the middle of going into a recession. And we better be careful that we don't put too much of our trust in other people for our prosperity. Because God gave us witty ideas. He told us in Deuteronomy 8 and 18, I will give you power to get wealth. That means I'm not just going to give you power in your physical body. I'm going to give you power in your mind. I'm going to give you power in your spirit. I'm going to give you power in your creativity. I'm going to give you power to create wealth. Go to Deuteronomy 20, go to Deuteronomy 8 and 18 and look that up because if you got the power to create wealth, to generate wealth, multiple streams of income, multiple streams of wealth, you can do great and mighty things on this earth for your family, for yourself, in these generations, and leave a legacy because he will give you power to create wealth. And if you want to create some wealth, sit down with a piece of paper and a pen and say, these are the things I like to do. Now, I can take this and turn this into a business because my someday is today. I didn't forget about the subject. My someday is today. And here is this clock. Time is waiting on you to be creative. Time is waiting on you to do something with all of that knowledge and those skills and those abilities that you have. Time is waiting on you to do great things for the kingdom of God. Time is waiting for you. And when time waits for you to move, it's going to keep on going because that old saying time waits for no one that passes you by. It's not waiting for you to make up your mind. It's going to keep on ticking. It's going to keep on moving. It's going to keep on flowing. And you will be left behind with all those gifts and talents and abilities that you have. Oh, my goodness. God didn't just give us one gift or one talent. Remember in the Bible, he gave one ten, gave one five, gave one one. The one with ten increased the ten to ten. The one with five increased the five to five. And the one that had the one buried it in the ground. Are you burying your gift, your talent, your ability in the ground and you can't move forward for the kingdom of God? You can't move forward to do what you were called to do because you buried your gift in the ground. 
You buried that thing up under the earth. You buried it, put it up under the old folks, say under your bed tick, and you didn't do anything with it. But you take those five talents or those 10 or those 20 and you multiply them and God will continually give you witty ideas. I started with soap and then I went to lotions. I went to lotions, I went to body washes. Went from body washes, I went to perfumes, went to perfume creams, and then I started learning how to make laundry soap of all the things in the world, making laundry soap. I make laundry soap, who would have thunk it? simply because I wanted to know how can I maximize this one little bar of soap? How can I maximize this one little gift? How can I maximize this one thing that I have that I know I can do well? How can I maximize it? How can I give God the glory with it? Because he already told me he was going to bless what was in my hand. When he told me it was going to bless what was in my hand, now it's time for me to move. Now it's time for you to move. Now it's time for those gifts to be stirred up so you can move forward with that gift. So you can look back next year and say, ooh, last year I only made $1,000, but this year I made $10,000. And next year I'm going to make twenty. dollars Next year I'm going to make 100000 All you got to do is believe it, baby. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. If you can go forth for the kingdom of God, if you can go forth for the kingdom of heaven, which suffers violent and the violent take it by force, if you can go forth and do great and mighty things for God, oh my goodness, look at all that you can accomplish. This little bitty body right here can do great things for the kingdom of God. Your little bitty self can do great things, mighty things, strong things. It's not about the size. It's about the size of your heart. It's not what that old saying, it's not about the size of the dog in the fight, but it's about the fight in the dog. Baby, it's about the fight in the dog in us. Or not the dog, but it's about the fight in us. <laughs> it's about the fight in me. If I can whoop the hell out of cancer, I can whoop this thing called laziness, slowfulness, doubt, lack. All of these things, you can beat it all. You can move forward for the kingdom of God like never before. You can do great things. All you got to do is believe in you. You don't have to believe in me. Believe in you. Believe in these 66 books. Believe in the promises of God. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things now it's not seen. Now faith, my faith is right now. My faith is believing for right now. My faith is trusting right now. My faith is standing right now. If I didn't believe in the things of God, I wouldn't be on television right now. If I didn't believe in the promises of God, I wouldn't be doing television nor radio. If I didn't believe in the promises of God, we wouldn't be launching our own network to do all the things of God because I believe God. And I believe, it's one thing to believe in God, but do you believe God? It's one thing to believe in God, people. But do you believe God? Do you trust God? Do you stand on the strength of God's word? Do you stand on the power of God's word? Do you stand on the might of God's word? Because your someday is today. Point to yourself. Don't slap your neighbor. Don't hit your neighbor. Don't touch your neighbor. Look at yourself and say, my someday is today. I'm going to get off my do nothing and do something. I'm going to use these gifts and talents and I'm going to create a business that's going to revolutionize my life, going to secure my financial security so I don't have to worry about a check every month. I don't have to worry about uh, a job paying me or laying me off. I am going to use my gifts and talents and abilities to secure my life financially, secure my life with peace, joy, hope, healing, deliverance, all of these things that God has for us, all of these things that God has purposed for our life. Because remember, he knows the thoughts and plans that he thinks about you. He knows the thoughts and plans that he thinks about me. He knows what he has purposed in our life before the very foundation of the world. Don't be afraid of what you see. Trust in what you hear from God. Don't be afraid and think it's too big for you. It may be too big for you. The Bible says with man is impossible, but with God, all things are possible with God. All things are possible with God. Everything is possible. I don't doubt for a minute the things that God can accomplish when I trust him, 
when I believe in him, when I hold on to the very thing, the very promise, the very word that he gave me, I believe in God. Do you believe in God? Yes. Do you believe God? Yes. Yes. Does your heart say yes to the plan of God for your life? Does your spirit say yes to the plan of God for your life? Does your mind say yes to the plan of God for your life? Push the plate back for a day. Turn the television off for a while and get a piece of paper and a pen. Get your computer out. If you're old school, you got a typewriter, get that out. I found a typewriter in the back of the storage the other day and I laughed. I said, I don't care, remember the last time I used a typewriter. But oh my goodness, it was back there. So whatever it's going to take, for you to get, get a tape recorder, because some of us don't write as fast as those thoughts come. Get a tape recorder, record the thoughts. If you're going to write a book, record the book. It can always be translated. There's plenty of stuff out there and people are translated for you. All you got to do is believe in you. All you have to do is trust in God and believe in yourself because your someday is today. Your someday is right now. Your someday is this moment in time. Your someday says, I'm ready to move forward. I'm tired of living in lack. I'm tired of living beneath my privilege. My someday is today and I will no longer live beneath my privilege. My someday is today and I will move by the Spirit of God all over my life. My someday is today and I'll do great and mighty things for the kingdom of God. My someday is today and I will walk this out, live this out, love this out, and I will show the world what it means to be a soul sold out for God, a woman sold out for God, a man sold out for God. Woo! Hi, Yadam, I say, trust in God with everything that's within me. Because I trust in the Lord with all of my heart. I don't lean on my own understanding. And in all my ways, every last single one, I allow God to move in my life. I acknowledge him. Let him move in my life. Let him control my life. Let him do what needs to be done to move me to another level. Even in this new season that I'm going into, I trust God for every single step of the way. We trust God for every single step of the way. Do you? Because the minute you give it all to God, he'll give you the strategy for your someday today. Your someday today. Your someday is now. Your moment is now. Your peace is now. Your joy is now. I don't care what it looks like today. Satan is not fighting you for today. Satan is fighting you for where you're going. Satan is fighting you, keeping you locked in Lodabar, keeping you locked in your mind, keeping you locked in negativity, simply because of where God wants to take you. Cancer wasn't trying to destroy me for right now. It was trying to destroy me for where I'm going. Because when I came out of cancer, when I came through that cancer, he said, I don't own it. It wasn't mine in the beginning. That's why it had to go. But when I come through that valley of the shadow of, I knew without a doubt, I knew without any doubt in my mind that when I came through, I was going to come through stronger, mightier, powerful, more in tune with the voice of the Lord, the direction of the Lord, the word of the Lord, the strength of the Lord, and the power of the Lord. I knew without a doubt I was coming through. And I was coming through without any hesitation, and any reservation. And that's why my, I'm writing a new book called I Beat the Hell Out of Cancer. And I am so blessed that I am here to be able to write that book because that is what God promised me going through cancer that I was going to write the book. Now, the promises that God has made to you, for you, with you, because he wants to come alongside of you and guide you along the way. Don't ask God to follow you. You follow God. Let that me hook you up for free right there. Don't ask God to follow you because you're going to run in a ditch. But you follow God. Say, Lord, I want to follow you wherever you go. I want to follow you into my destiny. I want to follow you into my purpose. I want to follow you into my plan. I want to follow you into my hope 
and my future. I want to follow you. Why? Because God, someday is today. My someday is right now. My destiny is right now. My purpose <laughs> ooh, is right now. I'm living my destiny right now. I'm on television and before nations. And my destiny is right now. My purpose is right now. My strength is right now. My joy is right now. My hope is right now. My healing is right now. My deliverance is right now. Because every time I walk out God's direction, I am in obedience with God. And he knows that he can trust me. Every time you fulfill the word of God, he knows he can trust you and give you the next thing that he has for you. But until you fulfill that assignment, he can't give you the next assignment. So let me leave you with this today. Your someday is today. Your destiny is right now. Your peace is right now. Your hope in the future is right now. Your expected end is right now. The thing that God called for you before the foundation of the world is right now. Do not let it pass you by. Don't let the enemy steal the one thing that is going to move your life to another level because God already knows the thought and the plan that he has for you. Now you be blessed of the Lord and I will be with you again next week on this network, on this station to do what I am called to do, and that is to, to encourage, to empower, to motivate, and to educate. That's my assignment, and I'm living with it, and I'm sticking to it. And I'm Dr. Jackie Hadnot, and you be blessed. I'll be with you again next week right here on The Exchange. Bye for now. Boucher Bath and Body Essentials, your lifestyle destination for all things natural, organic, and vegan. Our bath bombs are totally the bomb. We have activated charcoal products, anti-aging products, all natural and organic and vegan sugar scrubs. Our products are made in small batches to ensure freshness and quality. Stop by Mally Boucher Bath and Body Essentials for all of your bath, body, and home needs and let us care for you naturally.